Hello, this is Mike again, and today I'm very proud to tell you about this cabin. This is a cabin I spent 14 days staying in while I was doing a cruise of the Arctic Circle. This cabin was on the Royal Caribbean Voyager of the Seas. I was on the ship in September of 2022. The cabin was 7502. It was a forward facing ocean view. The cabin was on the very front of the ship. And as you can see in the screen, you can come out of the elevators and it took me a couple of days to find it, but there's a corridor that goes right up the middle, right to where your cabin is. It is actually very convenient for being the very front of the ship. This is the view from just inside the door. As you can see, it's a very large cabin for an ocean view. The window looks very large, which it was, but it wasn't square. I'll show you the view in a minute. But the curtains are blackout curtains. At night, you were not allowed to have them open because you're right below where they're steering the ship and if you have the curtains open with your lights on the reflections will bother the crew now on the other side of the bed there's quite a bit of room and i spent a lot of time standing there looking out the window now this is the actual window as you can see, it's not quite as big as it looked like, but it is still quite large. And it looks out over the ship. From here, you would almost say, well, I just see the ship. Actually, it was nice because on the Arctic Circle, everybody was going out on the helicopter deck to look at the northern lights or look for them. And you can sit there and people watch, but you also got to see out in the ocean. So, it was actually a very nice ocean view. This is the actual view you had looking out the window. Part of it was a helicopter pad, but it wasn't bad because you could people watch because there was quite a few people out on the helicopter pad. Of course, we were doing the Arctic Circle, so it was full every night of people out there looking for the Northern Lights, but it seems to be a popular place to hang out and they have chairs and stuff out there for people. But you also had a very good view of the ocean. And I don't think you would get as seasick because you're looking out the front of the ship. If you're looking sideways, the ocean's going sideways. And if you're susceptible to seasickness, it could affect you, but this, you're looking where you're seeing, so it's like sitting in the front of a car. So I really like this ocean view. I think other people would like it. Well, I did it again. I didn't take a great picture of the bed, but you kind of get the idea that this is where the bed is. It's facing sideways. You seen it in an earlier picture. As beds together as a queen. It was actually really nice. There's lots of room on both sides and the end of the bed. There's quite a bit of room. If you separate them, it takes up some of that space, but the room was big enough where I don't think it would bother you much. You'd still have room to go over by your window and look out. Now, this is the end table right beside the bed and next to the couch. This is where the phone set. And as you can see, it has a USB plug in, which was very convenient because in the evening, I just plugged my phone in. I was also able to plug my headset in. And there's room for my waters that I had every night. 
is actually real convenient location for this table. Now this is a view from the bed looking towards your seating area and the TV. The TV was actually a great spot. The angle was perfect for over by the beds, both sides. And it was actually out of the way. The seating area there was plenty big enough. And then as you can see, there was mirrors on the front and the side. I think anybody would be happy sitting there and doing your makeup, sitting in there working. And the floor space is quite big, so nothing was cramped. Wanted to show you this picture. I did not pull those drawers out. If the drawers had stuff in them, they stay closed. But this was the last night. I had emptied everything, put them in my suitcase. And as the ship rocked, the drawers opened up. Now this is a view of the mini fridge and the drawers beside it. The drawers are your typical size drawers, plenty big enough for t-shirts, uh, socks, underwear, and everything you have. It was plenty for my 14-day cruise. Right above it, I'll show you another picture, but those are the electrical outlets. N reminder, the mini fridges are not refrigerators. They're just big enough for some drinks, and they keep the drinks cool enough to be comfortable drinking temperature. Right above the mini fridge is a safe, which holds all your documents and stuff. No, you cannot put a laptop in there. You can put your cell phone in there, your documents, but that's it. And then right above it is a cupboard with a couple of shelves. I kept all my medicine in there. And I kept uh, other things right above it. Yeah, this was the first ship. Made me feel really old. I was in Europe for a week. I was in the Arctic Circle on the cruise ship for two weeks. So I had to pack any kind of medicine I thought I might need. And I had a gallon-sized Ziploc bag full of medicines. First time I felt really old. Okay, this is the left side of the desk. You have a two American size plugs there. Not a lot, but it's not bad. It's more than we've had on a lot of other ships. Now, this is the other side of the desk. You have a teapot there. I never used it, but it's nice to have. But then you have the European style plugs, which if you have a converter like I had, it was great. If you don't, it's just a wasted plug. That's why if you do much cruising, make sure you get your European style converter. On most of my cruises, I don't use a couch. I'm there alone. But this cruise, I actually use the couch a lot. There was a lot of space in there, and it was convenient to use couch to sit on, get dressed, put my things on. And then there was a full-size mirror. And it was kind of nice to have a mirror that was right there. As you're getting ready to go out, step in front of it. Do I look okay? Hey, let's hit the ship. One of these days, I'm going to learn to take the pictures for you guys. <laughs> this is the closet. 
There was actually plenty of room for hanging stuff. And as you can see there on the right side, there was wire shelves and they were great. The wire shelves kept all my socks, my underwear, my caps. I was in the Arctic Circle, so I had all kinds of warm clothing, gloves, and everything else. And it all fit on these wire shelves. I liked this bathroom. For a change, I had a round sink. I'm so tired of the little square sinks that take the whole counter space. It was nice to have a round sink and have some counter space to put something. And then I had shelving that I could put my stuff away. This was a nice bathroom. And this is the shelving. As you can see, there was a door on it. So many of the bathrooms now on the cruise ships, they just give you a shelf, but it's open to everything. And when you walk in, you're having to look at all your stuff. This way you put the stuff in. It wasn't real big, but it's big enough. And you close the door and the bathroom looks nice. It doesn't have to look cluttered. Okay, this is the shower. It's pretty much your typical shower. But it did have a wand, you know, and I actually used it quite a bit on this cruise. So it's nice that it'll go up high. It's your shower. You pull it off and wand your body, you know, do your back. They had a couple of shelves in there to hold stuff. As you can see, I got my shampoo and conditioner up there on the top. The bottom, my toothbrush, and yeah, I brush my teeth in the shower. I don't know why. That's a habit I've gotten into. On the wall is what they give you for your body. They consider it shampoo also. Don't use it as shampoo. Bring your own. You'll be very happy if you just bring your own shampoo and conditioner on cruise ships. And that's just pretty much all cruise ships. Unless you're in a suite, bring your own shampoo and conditioner. You can use their body wash. It's fine. The shower was plenty big enough for me. And I have no complaints whatsoever. Okay, as a final review, as you can tell, I was thrilled with this cabin. And I spent 14 days in it. I learned to know this cabin well. You sit there and look, there's a lot of space in this cabin. I liked looking out over the front of the ship. The location was out of the way. It wasn't bad. You get off the elevators, you shoot through that middle corridor, you're right there. The only complaint is the Wi-Fi, you're right in the middle. So... In the room, the Wi-Fi was terrible. I did learn a trick. Open the door. These doors are very thick. They're very heavy. So they block the Wi-Fi signal. You prop the door open, you get good Wi-Fi. And I have a feeling that's probably for any cruise ship. Now, the rest of the room... No complaints. I would spend another 14 days in this cabin. I would book this cabin on purpose. So, and I'm not an ocean view person, but I did really like this cabin. And I think you'll like it too. So, hopefully I helped you out some. Hopefully this makes you want to try this cabin out. I think you would like it too. So. This is Mike, and I will see you next time.